Hey, TJ Fanatico's podcast. What's up, y'all? Yeah. Why is there a TJ Fanatico's podcast? Because um, we just figure that why not? Why not? We'll do uh, we'll do a thousand podcasts a day that look and sound pretty much the exact same as every other thing that we do. <laughs> I mean, do do you think that there? You know, it used to be a little bit of a difference, um, because you know you and I are the ones doing the show now, the regular regular old radio show, and then. Um, we do the extra funny and extra extra funny for the yeah. subscribers, and then we do this together. I just I don't I don't know that there's a defining line anywhere really. I think we should just put it all together as just one thing. Yeah, maybe you know just one continuous loop. Yeah. Now this one does have so, a theme, so it sets it apart a little bit. Yeah. But um, I mean, I we don't even saying. we don't even change wardrobe uh, well, before we do this one every day to make it look different. No, we're not going to do, <laughs> do costume changes for a yeah. podcast. Uh-huh. No, I'm not interested yeah, in doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got like two shirts. Mm. So, um, But TJ Fanatico's podcast sponsored by Distill Harbor. If you want the perfect gift for your main, uh, I just got, I got one of these um, um, phone wallet things. It's called the um, uh, Wally Jr. MagSafe phone wallet. It's great. It's got beautiful, beautiful, handsome leather. Um, and you can carry four of the most, you, you carry your four most important cards with you and it just locks on the back of your phone and um, keep you from, you know, you don't want your man's butt looking all weird with a big wallet in his back pocket. So give your man a smooth butt appearance. Oh, give him a smooth yeah. butt. Oh, uh, uh, uh. You be telling them ladies, keep your hands off. Yeah. Don't, don't lay a finger on my wallet, Junior. <laughs> and it's before Christmas. We're a couple months. This is like an easy gift to get yeah. now. And it's 20% off when yeah. you use the promo code TJ at tjriggins.com slash gift. tjriggins.com slash gift with the uh, code TJ. 20% off the fabulous, fabulous Make your life easier, Wally Junior MagSafe phone wallet. It's a winner. So uh, the the topic is the top five things men need to have. Top five things men need to have. Um, we'll we'll count down the ones that we've done so far in case you've missed it, and then give you today's, and then have hot conversation about it. Coming up next. Attention veterans. Hi, I'm Richard Ocado. I'm a proud veteran just like you. I recently helped one of our fellow veterans refinance their home. They got money out to fix up their backyard and build a fancy deck. And we still save this guy $467 a month. With the rates coming down, you need to call me today at 704-800-4719 or log on to homewithrichard.com. It's a free five-minute phone call. Zero risk, no money up front, no money out of your pocket. Close, make sure your next payment 25. Richard Cotto Company, equal housing opportunity, NMLS number 38652. Every shark on Shark Tank called these pancakes the best pancakes I've ever eaten. Long table pancakes are made with heirloom grains, which provide more protein, more fiber, and more flavor. Learn more at tjriggins.com slash pancake. <laughs> Are you laughing? <laughs> that thing always scares me, and I jump. You know, I get startled easily, and that thing goes. Burp. I just like uh. if you go back and watch it on the YouTube's or whatever, you can see I just I jumped. I got I got startled. You're jumping beans. Ooh, it seems to spooky. have gotten worse in the last couple of years. Yeah, I'm on edge a lot. Are you? Yeah, I'm on edge. I'm I am the edge. <laughs> <laughs> the edge like the yeah. guy in youtube right yeah you can call me the edge no I'm gonna, you're 60 years old do i need to call you the edge mm. the edge or is it just edge i think it's the edge the edge the i edge. mean come on man um and then um you know you can't you can't forget about flea in <laughs> red hot chili peppers yeah i mean I think the edge is worse. Yeah, if it was at least Flea's Flea, a good, you know, nickname. Rock star, kind of grungy, dirty, but the or edge. It would like, be like somebody named the middle. Yeah, right. <laughs> the middle. 
<laughs> that would be a compromise because you're either on the edge or you're on the middle. In the middle, you could be a good YouTube cover band like yeah. The Middle Boner <laughs> and a couple of whoever else is in that band. Yeah. All right, five things that men need to have. I know everybody's waiting. Yep. Because they don't know how to live till they get get our opinions on these things. Uh, number five, various sizes of ice chests and coolers or coolers, however you want to say it. A grasp of the most basic cooking skills. Like if you're a guy and you don't know how to even do a grilled cheese sandwich, then you you gotta you gotta, as the kids say, you gotta put in the work, gotta and do better. Do better. Mm-hmm. It's not okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what else the um, the millennials and below say all the time? Huh. Riggins that I've noticed, instead of saying you're right or he's right, y'all will say he's not wrong. No, listen, he's not wrong. <laughs> not wrong. I heard a great one the other day on TikTok. She, instead of saying, me too, mm-hmm. somebody went, oh my God, also, same. <laughs> it's like, what? Oh my God, also, same. same. You just say me too. That's dumb. <laughs> this is dumb. Uh, this is not on the list. And even though we have a number one to get to, I think um, top five things men need to have is uh, the ability to fight off the urge to use the term vibes. Oh. I don't think men need to be saying vibes. That's not a man word. But anyway, I di- <laughs> I digress on that. Uh, at least one good watch was number three that we yeah. did yesterday. And today, top five things men need to have. Uh, men need to have their feet taken care of. Mm. Now, I don't mean go sit and get pedicures and, and go to the spa and all of that stuff. I mean... Keep your toenails cut and neat. Yeah. And, you know, you have your feet clean looking. Sure. Because um, we talk to a lot of women uh, because our show is targeted to women and it always has been. And they always say that when, they, when you ask what men need to do. And most of them say, don't wear sandals because men's feet are always nasty. Men don't keep up with their feet. They always look bad. So uh, it, it doesn't take a lot. No, it doesn't. And it's it, minimal. Yeah, and it doesn't. It doesn't take. And I would go ahead and add uh, fingernails too to this. Make sure you don't have long fingernails and all that. Um, just your basic nail grooming. Sure. Um, because we know a guy. Um, we we fixed up this couple years and years ago, and um, they were going out on one of their first dates. They were going out on the lake on the boat. And, uh, she went, she was meeting at his house cause it was on, you know, his house was the one that was on, at the lake. And before they could leave, said, hang on a minute. I'm, she was already out in the boat, I think. Yeah. In the, in the slip. And he ran back in the house. And the reason he ran back in the house is because he had to go cut his toenails. Yeah. Forgot to do that. Forgot to clean those yeah. dogs up. Mm-hmm. And. I mean, it must have been bad too. It had to have been bad. Ugh. Any, any that moment of realization. Oh my God, they're yeah. so long, or whatever it was. Mm-hmm. That is gross. <sighs> yeah. So I, I usually go by the um, with fingernail, my fingernails or toenails. I go by the rule of if you can see white, cut it off. I know. I think you go more, more aggressively than I, than most people do. You don't really? see any white on your fingernails. No. None. Mm. Hmm. Now, toenails, you're going to skip every, you're going to do your fingernails more than you're going to do your toenails, I think. I do. Well, only reason is because they don't my toenails don't grow as fast as my fingernails do. It's not cuz you don't yeah. see them as much. Is that what it is? Yeah. Because I have to cut my fingernails twice a week. Yeah. And I'm, I always say cut instead of clip. I don't know why. Cut your fingernails. Well, you're supposed to clip. I mean, yeah. uh, cut them instead of clipping them, but mm. um, But I use clippers. And, you do. Yeah. Yeah, that is so gross though. It is so gross. A lot of guys don't even wash their feet in the shower. That comes up on social media all the time. Yeah, They're just letting let the, soap the soap run, run down. down. But you got to clean between your toes mm-hmm. and under the nail. You know, you don't got to spend 20 minutes doing it, but just take care of them. And I think that's what you're saying. Yeah. And, you know, I get made fun of because, you know, it's the whole story about when, when my wife comes into the bathroom as I'm drying off and yeah. she always catches me in the most compromising position, <laughs> bent over, drying in between my toes and my... <laughs> butt stuck up in the air yeah so i finally just had to start because it was like she was timing it yeah 
like, okay, this, I heard the water cut off. Then, you know. <laughs> so I, I just started locking the door to make sure it doesn't happen. <laughs> and, uh, but then people say, Wait, what are you doing? Bent over. What are you dry? Yeah, I dry between every toe because if you don't, I mean, if you have uh, excess moisture there, that's how fungus breeds. Right. You get the athlete's foot. Get an athlete's foot. Do you use the bath towel that you use to dry off to clean in between your toes? It's the same towel? <laughs> I have a an upper body towel and a lower body towel. Are you kidding? That I use. Why? Because I just I, I once the towel gets wet, kind of damp. I don't want it anymore. I want to get another one that's completely dry. So I use two towels. <laughs> Fifteen every every shower. I have two towels. It gets soaking wet that it can't even function as a as a drying. Ma- it's just it. it it gives me the heebie-jeebies if it's not a dry towel. Does no, because I've always been been that way. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll take one towel. When I turn the shower off, I'll take one towel, dry my head yeah. and everything above the waist and above on my back and all of that. And then where's that go? You throw and then it down on the floor? I, um, then I open the shower door uh-huh. and lay it out. Because there's a, a bath mat there, but then yeah. I'll put that out there. So I can walk on it over to the bathtub where I put my foot up on that so I can dry in between my toes and all of that stuff. So I make a little, like a... Um, a pathway. A, yeah. A bath a mat little, pathway. A, a little, uh, you know, towel carpet. And then, okay, so now you've got two wet towels. Do you hang those back mm-hmm. up on the drying rack, or do they immediately go in the hamper? I'll hang them so they'll dry some before I put them in the hamper because I don't want them to, you know, just throw them Get in there and mildew. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're the biggest person. I need two towels to get dry. You're not yeah. that big. I know, but I just, you know, I just, I don't like the, especially putting on socks if your feet aren't just absolutely dry. I, yeah. I just can't can't do that i'll give you something that would freak you out i grew up in a house with three boys and i'm the youngest of three brothers we would share towels in the morning oh really i often use a damp towel oh one of us would have to go use my parents bathroom to take a shower and the other two would use the same mm-hmm. one so whoever got stuck taking the shower after the the first one uh-huh. would have to use yeah. the same towel and i'm not saying that that's gross i'm it just saying gross. that for me it's you know everybody has things that bother them more like you know we worked with that guy that couldn't sound the stand the crunch of an apple when somebody was eating an apple right. driving nuts. This is that's kind of the way it is with the towel thing for me. Little, it, it just has to be a a dry and not soft towel. I don't want any slick like no fabric softener crap or any of that stuff on yeah. the towel. You like a scratchy kind of towel. Just a thirst absorbent. like one that'll absorb. Yeah. Um, and Larry David stole that from me as a bit that he did on Curb Your Enthusiasm about needing a towel that had been worn some and not, not soft, slick towels. Mm. He, he took that from me and he also took, um, the whole thing about, um, being in line to vote with somebody that, you know, is voting opposite you are and just saying, Hey, let's just get out of here and go have a beer. You're going to cancel. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Now, obviously, he didn't steal that from me, but I think somebody that does help with the show probably did. Maybe. Maybe. But again, that's just my humble opinion. Yeah. Because I've been saying that for years, and those two things, I mean, I've run those in the ground on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yeah. So you do, you dry in between, you make it a, a concerted yeah. effort to do, you know, so when people come out of the shower and they're still damp, like in, in movies and stuff, you'll see them. They'll come out of the shower and then they'll just throw on a shirt, like a t-shirt or something. And you go, doesn't that get wet? Yeah, it's totally for cotton. You know, they're just trying to expedite the process. But yeah, that's disgusting. I would never. You know what else bugs me about TV and movies huh. is that whenever they have a huge breakfast that they've cooked and everything, they never eat it. You never eat it. No. If they sit down to eat, hey, eat your breakfast, they'll sit down and they'll talk for about five seconds and then go, okay, I got to go. And then they'll, they'll throw oh, the yeah. napkin down and then they leave. Yeah, it's sort of a, just a segue to yeah. get to where, yeah, yeah why so even do they breakfast? never eat the breakfast. Yeah, that's tr- that's interesting. I never, never mm-hmm. noticed that. It's weird. Yeah. 
Now, sometimes they'll say, hey, don't have time for breakfast. Grab a piece of toast, and then they're on their way. That's different. But if they sit down like they're going to eat your bread, I cooked your eggs, and you, you know, oh, great, I'm starving. Yeah. And then they'll just sit there for you know 30 seconds and talk, and then, then the person sitting down will say, okay, I got to go. And then there's a full plate that they never even touched. They should do what really would happen is if your mom grabbed, well, take this hot bacon grease, you, you <laughs> lousy son of a, you ungrateful little bitch. Your mom would freak out if she made you breakfast and you Hell just yeah. walked out on it. Yeah. yeah, right. That would not go over well. Mm-mm. Okay. I digress. Yeah. But men need to have their feet taken care of and fingernails. Take care of them. You got to yeah. shave the hair on your toes. Do I? You shave the hair on your toes? I, I shave all my leg hair and stuff because it's so bad, but I haven't done it in a while. You should see my knees look like a bear right now. Oh, your knees? Yeah. My, it's, it shows up more on my knees than anywhere else. It's crazy. <laughs> it ain't easy, is it, buddy? No, man. It ain't easy it's, being a man. It's tough, tough. Um, but, yeah, I do all of that. Mm-hmm. My arms need to be trimmed down. And I started doing that back when I, I was um, into the fitness and everything. I started shaving my body completely um and then once i got fat i was i still like the smooth do you know, yeah because i'm so hairy but and then again it's one thing to be hairy but it's another thing to be fat and hairy that makes it worse you think smooth and hairy is far superior than yeah, fat smooth, and hairy? uh I mean, yeah I, oh yeah smooth smooth and fat is better than hairy and fat yeah <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, would be a good name for a wacky morning show. We're hairy and fat. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth and <in> air. <laughs> hey, it's TJ. And if you are one of the many people who is still fighting the weight loss battle and you think the only way that you can lose weight is by going and getting some of these drugs that people are doing and talking about all the time that are so expensive, stop. You need Calitrin. Calitrin is the safe, effective way to lose weight. Now, the thing about it is, is that Calitrin is not going to tell you, you uh, use our product and you're going to lose 30 pounds in a week and a half. It doesn't work that way. It is all natural. It is collagen. We lose collagen over time and our bodies need that. So with Calitrin, it helps you lose weight the safe and effective way. I've used Calitrin for a long time and you should as well. So it's very easy to do. You just go to tjriggins.com slash weight loss, tjriggins.com slash weight loss and order Calitrin today. Jody is wearing her new painless, yes, painless stiletto heels from Protege Footwear. They were created by Candace, a fashion engineer and an MIT trained engineer. So that's why they're beautiful and painless. The best of both worlds. Save 30% right now by using the code ACETJ at acetj.com slash shoes. That's acetj.com slash shoes with the code ACETJ for 30% off. 